Alrighty folks, we are in a 2006 Nissan Altima 2.5 and the problem is, this seems to be a really common problem not just in Nissan but in basically every car ever made. People's steering wheels aren't straight when they're rolling down the highway. So if you have a good alignment and your car you know, drives straight as a pin, but your steering wheel is misaligned, like you see how this, this is lower over here than this, and I want it to be there. That's where I want it. It's currently here, I want it there when I'm driving straight down the highway. And there seems to be a lot of confusion to adjust this thing. Here's the heads up. Disclaimer, there's a lot of cussing in this video, so if that makes you uncomfortable, you might want to turn it off right about now. All right, so a lot of people think you got to have your alignment done and all this other bullshit. You don't have to do that, okay? You don't need an alignment to get your steering wheel like this. That could be the problem if your alignment's off, but if your alignment is good and your steering wheel is like this, it's another issue besides the alignment. So here we go, look. Here's what you got to do. You got to come on down under the car. We're down by the brake pedal. Okay, and here we go. This is your steering. It's almost like a CV joint. Okay, so your steering, it touches, it goes through the joint, and then it goes into this shaft that goes into through your firewall down by where your engine is. So there's this nut, okay, this nut right there. You can take that off and disconnect your steering from the shaft this way. This, this little piece here falls on out and I'll show you that right now. So, let me see here. I'm gonna get a 14 millimeter wrench and there we go. Okay, got that loosened up right there. This is a goddamn pain in the ass getting under here to do this. Let me tell you that. It's just not user friendly. Because I'm like halfway upside down. Half my body's out of the goddamn car. And this bolt pops out. Okay, there's the bolt. Okay, there's nothing on the other side. And now, this... This piece here connected to the CV assembly falls away, okay? So now check it out. So you got your steering, your steering rod, and it has this spline type engagement there. But now we've disconnected the steering wheel from the rod. So look, I'm gonna move the steering wheel and you can, you can turn it back and forth to see that. Steering wheel is totally free. Okay. And it's really nice and easy to move. Really simple. And up here, see that bolt right there? Let me see, where's my finger? There we go, right? Right there. Same type of assembly as here with this spline type joint, except it's on the other side of the, the CV assembly. Let me try to focus the camera so you can guys, you guys can see. There, that's better. So I'm gonna take that bolt off and I'm gonna hope that this CV assembly slides away from this. I'm gonna try it. And that bolt is a pain in the fucking ass to get to. There's like no room. And all I gotta do is twist this CV assembly like one spline one of these splines up there, and then my steering wheel is going to be fucking straight. So we're going to give it a shot. Okay. So this nut is a 12 millimeter nut. And it is a pain in the ass to get out because you have no goddamn room, like, at all. So you have to do, like, a little inch at a time in the movement. 
Okay, here we go. Now we're getting it out. Literally, like I literally like have no room to really do anything here. Okay. Once I get it loose enough, I am going to start taking it off with my bare, not my bare fingers, my gloved fingers with some nice nitrile gloves. Get yourself a pair. You won't be sorry. All right, it feels like it's definitely getting loose now. There we go. All right, and there's nothing. Okay, it doesn't feel like there's much on the other side here, so. See that? There's a washer with this one. It's not. It's just a nut and a washer. It's a lock washer. Come on. Don't tell me the shaft has been. All right, we're good. It's coming off. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, little girl. There we are. So that, there we go. So you got your lock washer. And I'm sorry, it's just a bolt. That is it. It's just a bolt and a lock washer. Bolt and lock washer. So we're going to set that off to the side here. And we, okay, so now we got this loose. And now we got it at the top. Oh, yeah. That's a score right there. What's up? Some bitch coming right off milk and cookies. That's what I like. So we're gonna do a little twisty. Now I gotta figure out which direction to turn this some bitch. You know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is gonna come out now. Ooh, ooh, come on. Ah, oh, really? Don't tell me that. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. I was all excited and now I'm feeling some resistance. What's going on? Shit, now I locked the steering. Okay, so this. There we go. We got it off. You see that? Beautiful. Okay. Let me come out of here so you guys can fucking see this thing. <sighs> yep. It's just like a CV joint. Yeah, that's it. That is it. So what we're going to do... Now I got the steering, the steering locked up. So I got to... Where are my keys at? Here we go. Get them in there. There we go. Unlock the steering. Bang. So check it out. Now the steering is like free. Woo! And we're gonna just put it on straight. See that? You know what you gotta do. So you can you can put it wherever you want, wherever your soul wants it. So we are gonna keep it straight. Right there. Actually, it's like right there okay now if I had a way to lock this thing that would be great but now all I'm gonna do is now that the steering wheel is straight the tire alignment didn't change at all I'm gonna put this back slide it right back on and hopefully I just gotta be real careful to not turn the steering wheel while doing this and everything should be milk and cookies and hunky-dory Okay, so I put everything back together and the steering wheel is straight now. So the kicker is this. You got to take this bolt off, it's 14 millimeter. You got to take this bolt off, 12 millimeter. The whole CV assembly, you got to remove it. But and you can do so by taking these two bolts off. And as you saw earlier, the CV slides out that way. And then you straighten your steering wheel and you just put it back on. You just literally, you're, all you're doing is you're changing the position of the CV right there on which spline it goes on. That's it. 
It's very, very simple. And then you just tighten these two bolts up when you're putting it back together and you're good to go. Now, bit of a tip, instead of using a 12 millimeter wrench, let's focus this camera here. Instead of using this 12 meter, millimeter wrench, which is a bitch, to get that one upper bolt up, you can use an, an extension, like a socket extension. And this is so much fucking easier. And the only issue that you might have is with the 14 millimeter, when it's on there, that bolt Nissan puts on pretty darn tight. So you might have to use a hammer and at the end of the wrench to uh, get her to loosen up for you. So that's how you do it. That's how you adjust your steering wheel to make it some bit straight. Look at that, that's beautiful. And I never touch the steering alignment of the car, none of that. The only thing I did in the beginning before I started on this job is I moved the car back and forth like 30 feet. You know, you throw it in drive, you go forward 30 feet in your driveway, then you back up to make sure your wheels are straight. And then you can start doing this CV assembly and adjusting your bolts and joints. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this solves a lot of problems and headaches for you people. And uh, until next time, stay frosty. Later.